Jermaine Defoe to sign for Ipswich Town. Uh, what? Welcome back to another video and yes, before we do get into this video, I want every single one of you watching this right now to go down below and smash that thumbs up button. Let's try and hit 200 likes on this video, that would really mean a lot. In today's video, we have got some transfer news. A lot of you have probably seen it today because um, it's all over Twitter, it's all over social media. The main Defoe is apparently linked with Ipswich Town. This team right here. Um, I am i don't know how I feel about this. It's pretty mental. We're going to talk a little bit about his career. We're going to talk about whether he'd fit in with our team. Whether he'd be good at Ipswich Town in today's video. Before we do get into this video, please do subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers <laughs> as soon as possible. So help me out. Subscribe to the channel. Smash this video a like. Let's smash it today because we have got a serious grind on YouTube coming up, all right? Stick around. All right then, so boys and girls, Jermaine Defoe. First little fact I've got for you, <laughs> he's five foot seven, he's quite small. He's the size of 4-0 written all over it. If you don't know who he is, he's a Portsmouth fan, but um, Defoe, he's, he's quite small for a, a striker. And we've, we, we can't forget, he has scored 20 goals for the England first team. He became the 20th player to score 100 Premier League goals, which is a massive achievement. And he is currently, as I film this video, he is currently 8th in the records for the highest Premier League goal scorer. So, 8th highest Premier League goal scorer, which is a massive achievement. A massive, massive achievement. The only thing that concerns me is that he's 38 years old. Um... He's, a, he's an old player, he's quite, he's getting on, he's getting on, alright, and I don't know how many years he's got left in him, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very old player. Anyway then, we are going to go over to Football Insider, which is where I found out about this whole rumour, we're getting a call from Matty Cox, Matty Cox, yo. Matty Cox, yo, what are you saying? I'm currently filming a video, any words mate? Alright. So I saw this on Twitter via the Football Insider, which is a... I think it's a reliable source. They've put some reliable stuff on their Twitter before. It looks like a fairly reliable source. So today they put a tweet up saying, Ipswich Town ready big money Defoe offer as Rangers talks continue. So we're going to read through the article for all of you, just in case you don't know much about the whole situation. Ipswich Town have set their sights on trying to lure Jermaine Defoe from Rangers Football Insider can exclusively reveal. The League One big guns are set to spend big in this summer's transfer market as they look to back manager Paul Cook to the hilt. An Ipswich Town source has told Football Insider the club are ready to make an ambitious move for Defoe, 38 like I've just mentioned, and offer him a big money contract to return down south. The former England striker remains in talks with Rangers over a new contract. His existing agreement is about to expire but has yet to put pen to paper. He has spoken of his desire to stay in Glasgow after winning the first league title of his glittering career. But Defoe is likely to have to take a major pay cut to stay at Rangers, where he is one of the top earners on more than £30,000 a week. Ipswich could offer the front man a far more central playing role than he has been given at Rangers and former club Bournemouth in recent years. The Premier League great has slipped down the pecking order at Ibrox despite his close relationship with manager Steven Gerrard. He is the fourth choice striker behind Alfredo Morelos, Kimar Roof and Cedric Iton. Defoe ended the recent Invincible League campaign with a series of cameo performances with the title long since soon up. Defoe, who does not turn 39 until October, is on record as he's as saying he wants to continue playing until he is 40. So, that's all I'm going to read. He's said that he wants to play another couple of years, which, you know, 40 years old is quite old for a football player. But as an Ipswich Town fan, I want to know your thoughts, okay? I'm going to keep this video nice and short because I really, really want to know your thoughts and opinions on this now. So, if you're an Ipswich Town fan or if you're a Rangers fan... 
Question number one from myself is would you be happy with Jermaine Defoe at Ipswich Town? Question two, do you think this is realistic? And question three, is it reliable? Is this source reliable? I don't know. I don't know if it's reliable or not, but I've followed the Football Insider for quite a while and they have put a lot of reliable things on their page. So um, I'm excited to see what happens. Obviously, it's really exciting hearing about transfers and who could be linked with Ipswich, who might not be. Do you know what I mean? It's exciting and it's exciting. It's an exciting period for football fans because this is where transfers do start to happen and players do start to get linked with football clubs. So it's now a waiting game. We'll see what happens. I don't... Personally, I'd take him because of the experience he's got. I still think he's a very fantastic football player. And any Ipswich fan that wouldn't take him, what are you... Why? Why? Question yourself, why wouldn't you take him? I know he's old, I know he's old but he's still got it. He's still a good player. And I think, to be fair, if he does come to Ipswich, he'd probably come into the club as more of a managerial player role um, and I think it really really helped the youth as well anyway that is it from me let me know your thoughts in the comments question one question two comment down below what you think will happen and I will see you all in another video <clears throat> very soon goodbye